Hello everyone. Welcome back to Unikaksha's YouTube channel. This is Ashwini from Unikaksha. Friends, at Unikaksha, we always try to discuss the topics uh, which are demanding in the industry. Here also, today, I am going to discuss with you about the very important and prominent area which is used for Java development. That is nothing but Spring Framework. So let's get started and understand what exactly is the Spring Framework and why it is used. Here, I'm not going to explain you about how to write the code in Spring Framework, how it can be used, how to uh, set the dependencies here. I'm not going to explain you about all these things, but I'm going to explain you about very basic and important factors related to Spring. Many times when we decide to start uh, with a technology, start learning with a technology, then we uh, think about uh, why this technology I should start or where exactly this technology will be applicable and whether this technology is having a future. So I am here to explain you about all these questions. So let's get started and understand about the basics of Spring Framework. But before that, understand about the framework. Now, what do you mean by a framework? So basically, a framework is nothing but a foundation or it can be considered as a a platform where the developers or the programmers can develop their applications in a very proper way. So here we will understand about the Spring framework now. So Spring is considered as a lightweight framework, which you can consider it as a framework of frameworks because it is going to support for n number of other frameworks such as Strut, Hibernate, uh, EJB, or there are many other frameworks as well. It is also going to support or comprises number of uh, uh, modules such as MVC is there, IOC, AOP, then DAO, ORM, all these are considered as the uh, modules which are supported or provided by uh, the Spring Framework. Then this particular Spring Framework is developed by Rod Johnson in 2003. It is considered as a very helpful framework for beginner level programmers as well as experienced persons. Around the world, due to the features of this Spring Framework, number of people like millions of developers are going to use this Spring Framework to create high performing, reusable and easily testable code. But before launching of this framework, the application were developed using Java Enterprise Edition standards. So with these standards, we can deploy an application on any Java Enterprise Edition uh, server, but this entire proce uh, process causes number of problems, such as code become complicated when the application is processed. The second prob uh, problem the developers were faced is uh, uh, Whenever uh, we are going to uh, execute the applications, then the performance of overall system get affected because of the heavy or bulky applications and such kind of many other problems were there, uh, which uh, programmers or developers were faced. So which all these problems were solved with the introduction of Spring Framework. It is considered as uh, the prominent solution provided in the market for developing proper and good way of development of any kind of applications. This framework is considered as an open source application framework. So this was all about the Spring Framework, the basics of Spring Framework. Now let's first understand why it is considered as such a popular and uh, prominent solution for the problems which I have explained just now. So this is because Spring is going to provide you lots of features uh, for developing the entire applications. Here I have enlisted some of the important features of Spring Framework. So the first feature is lightweight application. So Spring is considered as a very lightweight framework. It is just because we can, it is it can be considered as with respect to size and the functionality. This is because the Spring is based on the POJO implementation that is plain old Java object. It means that it is not bound by any special restrictions and can also, uh, it is not required any class path 
uh, in other words, we can say that it doesn't force it to inherit any class or implement any interfaces. The next feature is considered as AOP. The AOP is considered as aspect-oriented programming, which is considered a very much important factor of any framework. It allows the developers to develop applications in such a way that the business logic can be separated from your system services. So this name, as name indicates, it uses the aspects in programming. Here we are breaking the entire code into number of modules, whereas aspect is nothing but it is the key unit of modularity. For example, logging, declarative transactions, security, etc. Uh, are the examples of your aspect oriented programming. You can also consider the example like, for example, uh, this AOP just like the triggers. The next is considered as a transaction management. Transaction management is again considered as important feature of this framework. Spring is the framework where we can find solutions to many technical problems. It manages external resources or systems you have to work with. It uses several transaction management APIs to coordinate transactions for Java objects. Then next is dependency injection. This feature is again considered as most important feature Spring framework is going to provide. This feature allows you to develop loosely coupled applications. It allows the developers to achieve separation of concerns of uh, constructions, and it uses um, the uh, the. It is also going to think about the uses of objects. It means that the client doesn't need to know about the injector, how to construct the services, and even which services are actually used there. The client only uh, have to take care about or only uh, he has to know about the interfaces of services. Then next is integ integration of uh, other frameworks. So uh, it is nothing but Spring Framework is going to provide you a very proper way to integrate with the other frameworks. Next feature is container. So the container that is designs, uh, it is going to design and manages the lifestyle or life cycle and configuration of the app applications objects. So these are the many important features of Spring uh, Framework. Is, in spite of all these uh, features, Spring is also going to provide you lots of other features. So which provides easiest way to develop the uh, applications in Java. Now let's first understand the difference between Spring and Spring Boot. Many programmers or many students stuck up here because they don't know the exact difference between Spring and Spring Boot. So we have already seen what exactly is the Spring. Now let's first um, understand what exactly is the meaning of Spring Boot. So as we have seen, Spring is considered as the most popular application development framework for Java. So the main feature of Spring framework is considered as dependency injection or IOC, that is inversion of control. So with the help of this Spring framework, we can develop loosely coupled applications. And it is always better to use the uh, Spring uh, framework if the application type or characteristics are purely defined. Now the second is Spring Boot framework. Spring Boot is considered as a module of Spring framework. It allows uh, us to build a standalone applications with minimal or zero configurations. It is always better to use this Spring Boot application framework uh, if you want to develop simple Spring based application or restful services. Now, what is the meaning of restful services that we will see later. So Spring Boot is popularly used for develop the REST APIs. It always aims to shorten the code length and it provides you a very easiest way to develop the web applications. This particular is considered as a, a primary feature of Spring Boot, that is auto configuration. That means it is automatically configures the classes based on the 
requirement. It also helps you, as I told you, it also helps you to develop or create the standalone applications with very less configurations. So this is the difference between Spring and Spring Boot. Now, let's have a look on the features of your Spring 5.0. So these are the features of Spring 5.0. So this is considered as a latest version of uh, uh, Spring Boot uh, Spring Framework. So basically, this particular uh, is going to provide you lots of features which we can use for uh, making our development more easy and more uh, precisely. So let's have a look on all these features one by one. So the main and important feature of this Spring Boot, sorry, Spring 5.0 framework is it is supported uh, with the Java SE 8 environment. So the minimum requirement for executing or for using the Spring application framework is Java 8 should be installed on your machine. Along with this, it is going to provide you lots of other features like removal of classes, methods, and packages. It is going to provide you core container enhancement, reactive programming model, then testing improvements are there, unit testing facilities are there, and it is going to support for the web improvements or web developments. So along with the Java, we can uh, work with number of web development projects. So these were all the features of Spring 5.0. It is considered as a latest version of your um, Spring framework. So the first version, which was released in 2003, and then after, uh, it was released uh, in September 2021, 5.3 was released. So this, these were all about the very basic and important things about the Spring Framework. In my next videos, I'm going to explain you more about the dependency injections and IOCs. So stay tuned with us at Unicaksha and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.